Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Entire Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 30. And, okay, I did an entire Eternity off-camera without any of the Eternity features, because I just wanted to get the Eternity milestones. Because not 9 is the big one that allows me to just, like, breeze through everything instead of wait for my galaxies to build up. And also, I have waited for all the automatic achievements to go, so this is going to be pretty interesting. So... I'm going to get one eternity point here. I mean, that's not the interesting part. The more interesting part is that I can get my first time dimension. And this is the first thing that's going to be affected. Well, the only thing, actually, that will be affected from the glyph here. Which is time dimension power plus 0 0.034. So, it's just going to multiply all these, all these coefficients. Or, it's going to... It's going to yeah, it's going to multiply, it's going to raise them to the 1.034 power. I think that's what I was trying to say. I also get all Eternity Challenges, or not Eternity Challenges, Infinity Challenges, um, done when I unlock them. So, that means I don't have to deal with that. I can just basically, yeah, I can just blow through everything here and start focusing my efforts on the time study tree. So, I'm going to want to go down to 42. It is just better at this point of the of the game and unfortunately i still need to get these manually which is stupid but i guess i can just deal with that it's it's so quick now that i should have some kind of automation going so like maybe big crunch x times highest turning points maybe i'm gonna try 1e20 that's it's often pretty good it's not gonna do it all the time but it, it will do it sometimes, and we can unlock Replicanti, which is faster, but it's still kind of slow compared to how fast I'm doing, like, the rest of this. So, I can do this. I can get Time Study 32. That's not really the useful one. The only useful one I'm trying to get is 42, and maybe this is actually a bad idea what I'm doing here, because going for the left actually helps more in the very beginning, but once I can get Time Study 42... It is definitely better to go for that. So, see Replicanti starting to build up, which is great. It's The big boost from Replicanti comes with the first few orders of magnitude of it. So, that's why it's kind of nice to get it out of the way early. And I'm up to E250 Eternity Point. Or, not Eternity Point, Infinity Points. It's going to be pretty easy to unlock Infinity again. I think I'm just going to do, going to immediately Eternity and then do a, another off-camera run, because it's just going to be the same as this, except, like, I'll have half of my in Infinity Dimension auto buyers on, which is kind of boring. So, yeah, we're, we're going to do we're gonna do it like that. E302, E306, 307, three, wait, here we go. One Eternity Point. As I close in on Eternity again, I can, I'm going to go back to my time study tree. There isn't really much I can do yet. I still just need more time theorems. Maybe I can get 21 while I'm at it um, before I can afford 42. And that'll be a nice stopgap measure here. And I can get one more Eternity point. I can unlock the rest of the auto buyers for the infinity dimensions. Ex except the unlock button. That that I still need to do manually, which is kind of annoying, but whatever, I, I can deal with it. And it seems like it's still faster to go for one eternity point than two eternity points, at least at this stage of the game. Maybe I want to push a little farther, because the Replicanti, like, it, okay, this doesn't look very good at this point, but it eventually gets better. It's down to already down to 21 minutes, 19 minutes. I'm also going to, I can turn the the galaxy on here it's down to 15 minutes which isn't which is still kind of a lot of time and now i'm down to 10 minutes but it's only when i get to like e308 where you can really see what this three times replicanti speed is capable of doing so i'm now all the way up to e270 infinity points it's kind of still actually kind of slow it's because the glyph boost is extremely weak at this point because i only have one time dimension and the and the coefficient or the multiplier is not big at all so 
Here we go. E301. I'm now so it's now down to just under three minutes to get a replicated galaxy. So that's definitely a pretty big improvement. And I can if I if I keep pushing, I can I can get it quite down there. And it might be worth it to keep pushing with time study 21 because of how it makes this this formula actually good at higher replicati amounts. So now it's down to a minute and 49 seconds per replicated galaxy. So as I reach infinite replicati here, you can see it's I can now get a replicated galaxy in under a minute. So that's pretty good. I don't I don't know how far I actually want to push with this because with every galaxy I get, it, I do have to reset my replicanti, which is really annoying. So I don't really want to do that, but instead I can get these time theorems. Like if I can just get to E four hundred and fifty points, that's enough to get time study forty two, which is huge. So I'm going to respec my time studies from nine x eternity and just get all the time theorems I can and here we go time study 42 so now I'm just gonna do some runs like this it's literally just easy as this to reach eternity it's this is a joke time study 42 is by far the most powerful time study this early on in the tree because it just it, more galaxies is always gonna be just so powerful so I'm just going to grind out the rest of the attorney milestones, or at least up to 100 here, and see when I get there. So as I grind the, these attorneys, I'm kind of playing around with the X times highest infinity point setting on the automatic big crunch. It seems like E30 infinity points is the best, because not only it gets me easy to, to one attorney point, it can get me to two attorney points really easy. So I'm racking up a lot of eternity points. So I can think of where I want to spend them. I want to probably start getting maybe some of the eternity upgrades like this, but also I want to get um, the time dimensions. The second time dimension would be really nice. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to get another thing of the first time dimension so we can start getting a more powerful multiplier here that can be affected by the glyph more and then I guess I'm just going to wait until I can get a little bit over 10 attorney points here because I still want this upgrade to, to have an effect. And this is at, it's only at a 4.2 times multiplier. It's based on eternities. And I probably will want to grind eternities eventually. And that will be a pain point going forward. But I think I have, okay, I have 99 eternities. So just one more eternity and I'll be, be there. 100 eternities. So... This means that basically the attorneys are fully automated and now I can just push farther and farther. So what do I do at this point? I I can get E450 infinity points easy, which is kind of crazy. I should probably also turn this on considering that now I'm getting a replicated galaxy every 10 seconds. And it's, it's going to get even better as, as I get further all along. So E516 infinity points. This is enough to actually get time study 51, which is nice. And there's also some of the reality upgrades I can start thinking about. Um, most notably, uh, this one. Have E10 eternity points without purchasing the 5 times eternity point multiplier upgrades. So that means I want to avoid... Uh, these upgrades and the, these these are very powerful so I I'm not really sure those are gonna be pretty hard to avoid actually but well maybe maybe I can do it with good time studies here so I get e600 at infinity points it's actually enough to get the time study 61 which gives me 15 times the amount of eternity points and that seems pretty good at least for now. So I think I'm just going to do that and Eternity. This gives me 119 Eternity points, which is good for this upgrade and that upgrade. And then it's also good for a few more time theorems. I'm not sh exactly sure what else. I can also get actually the third time dimension. That's pretty big. I also want to get some more Eternity points here just to boost the, uh, the first Eternity upgrade. And now I'm going to be pushing as far as I can possibly go. 
again. So I can easily reach E500. It's n not not even a challenge. And I don't even I don't even know how many replicated galaxies I'm getting here. Right, right now I looks like I'm only getting like one replicated galaxy, which is crazy. And I can still push. And this is where it starts to get a little bit slower. But actually it's not slower. It's a replicated galaxy every 2.6 seconds. Now 2.4 seconds. So this really isn't that bad. It's just a little bit of waiting. And if I just wait for it all, I can get way more infinity points this way. And yeah, I kind of want to just keep doing this because now once I do it, the it keeps going down. It's now 1.6 seconds. And I think eventually I'll, I'll be at something crazy like six per second. So yeah, that's really nice to see. So I'm actually maxing my replicated galaxies right here. And now I'm getting it a replicated galaxy every just over one second. But even with that, unfortunately, I'm not going to be getting that many new time theorems. I think it's going to be more based on eternity points because this is where normally I would start getting the five times eternity upgrade. And I don't have that. So I think I can get two time theorems right off the bat. And I can also get a few other time theorems. So I'm going to start going down the antimatter path. And this will this will definitely help. Eventually, the, the ultimate goal is to get to 111. 111 is really good, but I'm not sure how easy it is to reach that. So, speaking of replicanti, I'm now getting two replicated galaxies every second. It just keeps going up because I can keep purchasing these upgrades. But even with this, I don't think I'm going to be able to get much more than like one more time theorem i don't know why i'm in the infinity tab and i need four time theorems to get the next upgrade i'm pretty close to e 800 infinity points so i kind of want to push to there but that's basically as far as i'm going to push here e 798 and e 800 so there we go um this allows me to get this time study, but it's not really good. There's also you gain replicanti three times faster, but at this point, I'm going to be prioritizing pure production over speed because replicanti is actually still pretty fast. But this, for the eternity points here, this allows me to get one more of these time studies, and I might just want, I might want to do a minor session of eternity grinding. I'm not really sure. I might just want to do short runs, like something like. If I go up by E100, I'm not sure how possible this is. Uh, this is not possible. I can probably do E70, and that will... Actually, E71, because that means I'll, I'll reach Eternity in four runs. And actually, I seem like I I almost missed it. I can do like E66 and still do Eternity in four runs. Okay, actually, no. E66 is not enough. I do need E71 to reach Eternity in four runs. And this allows me just get Eternity points quickly and Eternities relatively quickly, at least for this stage of the game. Now, now I'm realizing something I can do to make this even better is do Automatic Eternity at somewhere around 100 Eternity points. Because this means it's not going to be just doing it at the bare minimum, but it's going to be doing it when I can actually get a little bit more maybe not 100 maybe something like 70 that seems like about optimal for eternity points so previously i was probably getting like 300 400 a minute now i'm getting like 600 per minute so all that's gonna help and the main thing i want to get now is the fourth time dimension because just getting these time dimensions are gonna really help i'm also i also want to start purchasing some more of these other time dimension upgrades and just all of these are going to be very useful for when i'm actually trying well, to push like it may not seem all that useful now but especially with the glyph boost it's gonna um be powerful i mean the glyph boost may just be more placebo effect at this point but later later on you're gonna see it like i think it's gonna be most prominent like right before dilation where you're, you're gonna see like, I can get way farther than the bare minimum I need for dilation. 
So anyway, I I probably want to get everything under a thousand eternity points here. So I'm gonna just leave this running for a couple more minutes and then and then grab these upgrades. So now maybe I want to do a little bit more just to get some of the eternity upgrades up, but that's about all I can do for now. This is about the fastest I can grind eternities, and it really isn't that much of eternity grinding at this point. If you go to statistics, it looks like, yeah, I have like 450 eternities. It's not really that much. So what I'm going to do now is turn this off and try to go for another long run. Avoid, avoid getting the eternity point multipliers because I kind of want to get that reality upgrade here. So what can I do? I can get E600 easily. So that, that puts me to the point where I'm not going to be having to wait like ridiculously long for replicated galaxies because I'll be able to get all galaxies within like, yeah, five seconds of every <laughs> infinity run. So that's not the problem here. The problem is, I don't know how far I can push. Even with all of those time dimension upgrades, it actually isn't that good, like what I'm able to achieve. So E864 infinity points puts me at another time theorem. The next time study is still four time theorems, and I'm just not quite there yet. Like I can get three, but the fourth is going to be difficult. Be and I'm probably just going to need to new do another eternity run unfortunately so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get this and this gets me antimatter dimension time multiplier based on time spent as eternity so this isn't even that good of a study anyway like this is such a weak boost versus something like 71 i might want to respec and go into something like infinity dimensions which might be the play here but i'm not really sure how much I actually want that. Now I'm realizing that 72 is indeed better than 71. And I think 82 is better than 81. I have no idea actually. But I think what I'm actually what I actually want to do instead of doing all that is again the proto eternity grinding because Without the Eternity Point Multiplier, I kind of just have to brute force getting Eternities this way. And it kind of sucks. Or it's not just Eternities, it's also Eternity Points. Because I'm kind of trying to kill two birds with one stone with this strategy. I'm trying to I'm trying to build up my Eternities at least a little bit. I'm, I, I'm not going for like a million or anything. Or even a hundred thousand. If I can just get ten thousand, that'd be pretty good. But also, since I'm getting 70 eternity points per run, even like a thousand eternities, well, it's actually divided by six, so like actually a thousand times clicking the eternity button, that gets me 70,000 eternity points. And that's enough for stuff like this upgrade, which is a lot more powerful than these upgrades, and a lot more time theorems as well. So that's what I want to do. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.